Hello, my ladies and gentlemen. I'm here on my way to school. Finally, the day has come. I'm here in Dykeman. This is where I'm from, New York City. It's 7.45 in the morning. And um, I had to be there at 9. I mean, 15 minutes before 9. And... You know, there's some things you have to do for your ID, so I'm just gonna try to get there early. So, um, nothing, I'm super excited, and um, I would attach a video here. How did it go? How was my first day? And um, nothing, super excited. I cannot turn around the, let me see if I can. Anyways, nothing. Um, I will attach another video. Um, this one. Bye. So, I'm over here for this second. This is where the school is located. The center of Times Square. Beautiful building, super beautiful. Love it. Cute. We have to go to the seventh floor. Give me a pass for now. Oof, I'm tired. I worked yesterday. So, this is gonna be sacrifice. Super excited. All right. I think I should take the B elevators because yeah so you have selected the accessibility oh my gosh this is like touch okay. it was like a touch button seventh floor Super early, but I just want to prefer to be early LA on Sundays. It's really hard. The trains are like, they don't work correctly. So I'm used to it. Live here for 20 something years already. So I got the seventh floor. This is cool, guys. This is the floor. Hi everyone, it's your girl D. I am so happy today. I want to give you guys an update. Today was my first day at the Christine Vaughn School. Um, it was awesome, 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 awesome. Like what I felt to be there. I really, really, really am convinced that this is really what I want. Um, your girl looks super exhausted because of course I work full time and um, today we had to stay there night for nine to five. Um, we actually left 30 minutes earlier, but I wanna just rewind what I'm gonna say. I don't wanna go so fast. And uh, I just wanna give you an update how was my day there and what's my uh, opinion of, of the the school so far and um, today was more like an orientation the orientation was really really nice um, because the person who conducted was somebody who was actually substituting the teacher that she couldn't be there um, and her name is Miss Betsy she's the sweetest thing ever she was really 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 kind really nice energy I really love her energy um, she kept us really like awake and uh, fun like to to describe um, I mean to say what our name is and she make us talk about what's is what are the our, our things that we are the most afraid of like just to get to know each other and remember our names because this one says something like this and 
it was kind of cool. It was really cool. She really knew how to engage us. Um, yeah, so I just want to tell you guys how did it go. So I soon I walked in, they make us sit down and we had to wait to someone to register us. And then we had to pay the deposit. Whoever has to pay the deposit, some people have financial aid. So I pay my deposit. And then um, they took it in in the room where we met Miss Bexy. And um, yeah. And before we, I start saying the whole story, let me just show you. Um, I need something to hold my phone. If I'm gonna be doing these videos, I need something to hold these phones. This is horrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so back to what I was saying. I bought some cute little things for me to go to class um, just to keep myself motivated. And um, I really believe in always trying to be positive, of course. So I went to Staples and I got this cute book. It says, Collect Happy Moments, notebook. And this is where I took my first notes of today's orientation. And she did teach us a little things about waxing. And I will talk to you guys about. And then I got this very cute, um, like uh, some type of planner, calendar, weekly and monthly. Make each day count. And yes, I am making each day, not only in school, but in my personal life too. Um, even though I look like crap right now, I look like shit, I'm so tired. Like I said, it's not gonna be easy work full time and go to school. Um, there's a lot of information today. There's a lot of things going on today. Um, yeah, I am exhausted, but I'm happy at the same time. Like I'm gonna sleep like this with a smile on my face. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this very cute planner. I love it because it has like tabs and also has like messages like it says um do small thing with great love they be kind and hustle oh yeah and i wrote down here the day of where i'm gonna have tests and what day i'm gonna have tests and um practicals and clinic and um i also put here you know my personal stuff like what i need to do during the month if i have to do my taxes because i have to do my taxes too it has these cute stickers that shows like the month things about you put it on the calendar the day you're gonna do like a workout or it's a party it's a very cute planner i liked i know we have our phone to put every date that we want what we need to do but i really like to write things down i have a picture memory so and i like to remember things or i don't know something to stick to me i need to write it down so i love this planner it's so cute and every month or any page i go it will say something really nice and stay true to you and you will end up incredibly happy isn't that cute if you guys really know me, my friends, they, they understand. Like, yes, this is totally D. Um, I have that, and that's all I bought. And I, know, I have another notebook somewhere, but when I start the institution classes, well, I mean, this is like included in the institution, but when I start in May, I'm going to have more courses. This is only the waxing that I'm going to do for seven weeks. Um, I have another notebook that I will show you later on that I bought from Staples. Okay, and um, what else they gave me in school? In school, they gave me a kit. Supposedly, they said this is the half of the kit, and later on, we're gonna have the other half. I really don't know. I hear different versions. I hear like this is already the kit that we will have, and some people say no, they said that we're gonna have another kit. I really don't know. I just really, I really, my opinion is about the school. They do give us this kit, I will show you. Some people told me that the products are really, really good. I haven't tried them yet. I did try today some, but I don't really, I can't, I don't, I cannot have my review. I just hear the review for others. That is supposed to be really good. I feel the feedback from some people at school that they said that the school is kind of a little bit like cheap with the supplies. So 
we'll see. I did notice like we were not ready today. It was no plan to do waxing today at all, but we did anyway. The Miss Bessie was nice enough to set up the wax room for us and do like a little intro. And of course she just did it like she improvised. So of course she didn't set it up that we were gonna do that. Tomorrow we're gonna be doing practical, clinical. So I, I, I'm gonna expect to be prepared for us to have what we need. We did have what we need, but it, there was not enough wax for each student to practice. We had to share, like four people had to share one wax a heater and everything. And when I wanted to wax the girl that she was, she let me to wax her leg, the wax got caught by me going back and forth you know, getting stuff, it was just, it was a mess. But I will tell you guys in a few about that. Um, <clears throat> first, I wanna show you guys the book they gave me for this seven week course. This is the book. I guess this is what we're taking to school every day. And um, they didn't give us a workbook. I'm sure we're gonna have a workbook. I don't know why. It can be this is the only thing. But who knows? We'll see. Um, tomorrow is practical. So, and then um, we do have some anatomy and skin, physiology, um, dis disorders and disease, infection control, hair removal, appearance enhancement. We will have, we're gonna be having tests, you know, there's like a probably um, one, two, three, four tests in the final then. So it's very short, it's just a very short um, course, but yeah, it's, um, it's to be expected. I don't, I don't expect to be like a, a lot. It's just seven weeks, so I'm not gonna complain. Only thing I do complain, I feel like the, the um, I hope that we don't be like short of supplies so i don't i don't want to be i don't mind sharing with other people but it should be i don't know four people trying to wax one person you know and and the wax is like all the way over there i don't i don't know it just we'll see but it's just a basic thing to do to try to get the board exam and get the license so i'm not gonna stress it too much you know um Anyway, so this is what came in the kit. I'm gonna show you. It comes like very small products. So first I'm gonna start with the student hand sanitizer. So before you put your gloves on, you had to do your sanitizer. So I took it out of this. This, this is the baggie that came in with all the goodies. And um, I'm gonna be putting them in this bag, travel bag. Because I think we're supposed to take it every day, every time we go to school. So we just have to refill it so we can use it for our clients or uh, when we do the waxing. So this is the hand sanitizer from Chris's Vanity. The bottle is very basic, nothing fancy, okay? That's that. Then when you do that, you put your gloves. Um, we have um, violin. Violin is like a, some type of toner very low pH, low toner to clean the skin before you do the wax. So it's, I love the smell. I don't know why some people put the mask so you spray, try to clean the skin and then you pat and dry. And then um, if you're gonna do soft wax, you use um, powder, baby powder or cornstarch, however you wanna use. And if you're doing hard, you have to use an oil. Um, this is the mineral. You, you can use this when after you do the waxing, you clean the person's skin to remove all the stickiness. Oh my God, I'm talking already like so, like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just didn't even, I haven't even started, yo. Get ready, okay? Um, and then this Valissima cream, it's like a cream, like a mask cream like a pose up like you massage the person's skin like in the end to snooze the, the 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 skin also in my kid came this um 
brushes. This brushes, I think, is when you do the, I guess, the waxing in your eyebrows. We did not use this. And another thing came in my kit is a tweezer, a pink tweezer. Okay. And yeah, that's, oh, I'm sorry, and the scissors. It came in the package, but I, I took it off. So, it looked like a good scissors. So, yeah, that's the kit. And I'm gonna put in my bag like a small mirror because I noticed like, I didn't see any mirror, hand mirror when we were in the wax room. So I was like, if I do wax somebody lips or eyebrows, how are they gonna know if I, you know, I just want them to show them if I did good, if I did, they can see that I did remove all the hair. So I don't want them to think I missed something and then they go see in the mirror like, oh, you missed here. Like they can see I did what the most I can do, right? I put in this mirror there. And uh, yeah, that's the kit. The kit that you need just to at least start and the steps, the wax. I wanna get my own wax. I don't know what type of wax I'm gonna buy. I hear different opinions. I still don't wanna make a decision yet because there's so many different wax. Um, some student in my classroom told me about the sugar wax and some other ones told me that Boston wax is like really, 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 really expensive. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing things, you know, for free. I don't wanna be spending like so much, right? So we'll see, we'll see later on, we'll talk about that. I don't wanna stress it right now. Right now it's learning time. And um, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, that's about, that's about it. Um, what do we do? So we talk about first ourselves and introduction, who we are and funny things to remember about us to break the ice. So I did like that about Miss Betsy. Then we, we talk about contradictions, about waxing, the cornstarch, what you use it for, baby butter, the soft and hard wax, the side effects of waxing, how long did the hair grow, different stages of hair, which we're gonna talk about in more. Sanitation, um, we, what you use soft wax, we did talk about a little bit, I'm sure we're gonna talk about that later on a lot. Um, the steps, what to do that I just explained to you, the sanitation, sanitize your hands, clean your, the customer's skin, and then powder, blah, blah, blah. What things you can disinfect, what things you don't, you don't disinfect, like things like metal you can disinfect, things without spores you can disinfect. Yeah, so, and what else? Um, yeah, and then we took a break, 15 minute break. Then um, some other classmates from the nail um, program came by and say, hi, we need people, if they wanna do manicure, pedicure, please come, we need some, some practice. And uh, I offer myself to do my manicure, so here it is. If it looks like the paint a little bit like wrinkles because I couldn't wait to dry, I had to go. It was, I was already late to go to my class. So she did, a, she did a great job. This is gonna be such a cool experience to be in school and be able to have free manicure and pedicure and facials. So I am super excited to be in this environment. Yeah, and um, yeah, that was my day of my first day in school. And uh, pretty soon I will need some volunteers to come so I can practice and um, I'll let you know later on when it's gonna be that I need someone to book appointments and come to Christine Balmy in the 42nd, um, 1501. Um, I think, oh shit, I forgot the address, but I will put it below in the info, um, the address. And uh, please subscribe to my Facebook account, Sasita Love Skin, I'm gonna put it below as well so you guys i i usually update more in my facebook account i do live videos i do talk about some other things like dental work um that i do at my work whining 
Um, I'm also going to be adding some videos here about DNA Appliance by Vivos Life. It's an appliance to fix your ortho and fix your sleep apnea and so many different things, which actually I have it right here next to me. This is the case that comes in and it looks like a retainer. So I'm going to be talking about this appliance later on. I'm going to be putting videos at work and show you more about it. I'm not a professional, I'm not a dentist, but I do work with uh, my boss, Dr. Lillian. She specializes in that. I have learned for the past more than six months um, that I've been with her about it, and I'm a patient now, and I want you guys to see the difference about my teeth. I'm going to make another video regarding that separately. This video is more about my experience in Christine Valming. I felt very welcome. I felt very, people really happy. Really, people are there, are excited just like me. These super smart women there that they have a lot of dream to become entrepreneurs. Um, entrepreneurs, that's how you say it? And they want to go solo. Um, the teacher did talk about something that we had to take a look into that you know that is good to work for someone else for the, in the beginning because that way you can have more experience and practice more and you don't have to worry about the business side because it's, it's, an, it's something else that you need to know also about it i am trying to learn that now before i get out of school i want to learn about i want to learn about the business to be on your own what the real deal like what is the real deal i don't want no hiding situation i'm looking for real stories out there that the struggle that really is i don't want like oh no look i have my beauty room and it looks nice and i do it from home or yes i open my own thing and make it seem so cute cute but i'm sure it's super hard i'm sure there's there's some steps you need to do, some knowledge you need to have, and I don't want that to be in the end of my class. So I have a whole year and two months, I mean, a year now because already two months passed. I have a whole year to look into that and learn about it. And the only thing that worries me, like I said, is the supplies, the supplies. Um, but I think even though if I had to share something, again, I am just trying to pass the board exam, you know, with with 100%. That's what it matters. And, you know, they just, how can I say, they could do a little better regarding their supplies because it's not really that cheap, you know? It's not really that cheap. In my classroom and other classrooms, there was there were there were a lot of girls, so they they get in the Benjamins, you know, but <laughs> but I don't know. I just don't want to focus on that. I really, I'm already in. I'm already in. So I have to do the best I can to focus of the knowledge and get my board exam done and have my license. Um, and yeah, any questions you guys have? Um, I feel like the payment plans are really good. Um, I don't feel the pressure about financially. Um, and the teacher was so cute and nice. Um, I did have to dress up in black. Um, I do other thing I need to tell you, if you're gonna go to waxing only, just wear black clothes that you know you're gonna get dirtier and they're gonna damage because wax can can get on top of your clothes and you're gonna be very disappointed if you buy a really expensive i don't know uniform or you have really like expensive sneakers like me today i took my jordans that i have they're like really i forgot what type of jordans are but they are kind of pricey and i was kind of worried that a wax would fall on top of my you know on my sneakers i was like no 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 no, no. i think i'm gonna have to wear something like cheap you know i found that and i found out like you don't have to wear like scrub scrub like you can wear black clothes it doesn't have to have scrub uh other things like i saw girls with like really long hair like getting on top of the people on the wax like really loose um blouses that has it's open and you know it can move forward 
on the wax so be careful try to go put your hair back and i know it's little things like that um yeah uh, i love that they give me an hour lunch break but i took my hour lunch to do my nails so yeah and then i did um some oil hot oil treatment i did a paraffin paraffin like the wax that you dip your hands i'm telling you guys this is like so good <laughs> to be so that's it i am going to shower and rest i am your girl is exhausted i don't know if you know this guy but i did my lashes i don't know if you can tell what you guys think about my lashes it looks natural right that's the next thing I want to learn too. Now I'm going to talk about it now because, of course, again, one thing at a time, right? But this is like, I don't like to do this. So it looks so, my lashes are long anyway, but what it, I like about this is how it curls it and I don't need to use mascara. Easy? Good. Um, any questions? Again, Subscribe to my set Facebook is Sasita Love Skin. I'm gonna put it below. I'm gonna put the address of the school and uh, the phone number if you guys wanna make appointments. And um, nothing. Monday, tomorrow, it's another practical. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do a video about that. Um, next week, I'm gonna take class again. I think uh, my next video I'm gonna tell you is regarding the um, peeling that I've been doing lately um, and some mistakes that I did on my skin. We'll talk about that and I will probably add a little more of how I've been in school when I update again about it, okay? Now your girl has to rest. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you very much for your comment, for, your pos for sending me positive um, vibes. I really need it a lot. This is a very big step I have taken to switch my career from a dental assistant to a institution. So I really, 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 really wish me luck. And thank you so much for watching and have a great night. Love you guys. Bye.